Gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the show. Both of you both been on here once before. Um, obviously, my first question is, what? What? <laughs> what is this? And my follow-up is, why is this? Why are the two of you going... Why are the two of you a team now? Are we a team? I, I didn't know we were a team. I didn't know the word is, you guys were, were shopping a show where the two of you would debate issues of the day on television. Where well, did you took it to CNN? You took it to MSNBC? You had to slum over here. We were the ones. Look, look, look. Let me, let, let me say two things. I don't have a lot of rules in my life, but one of the rules is that I never do a show with a guy whose first name is The. <laughs> See, I actually thought we were doing a show and it was going to be the male version of Thelma and Louise. That's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, well and, and, this and administration look, are certainly yeah. driving the country off a cliff right now, so that would... <laughs> Well, that's probably, let me sense let's to me. probably why Michael didn't want. Let me, let's, let me, seriously, what, what, but, but, well, seriously, I know, I know you guys got your stick, but what no. is, what is this? Are you, are you, are you, are you guys, uh, do you, do you debate the issues? How do you even know each other? So we have a mutual friend. Uh, not uh, the president. No, not, no, no, no. <laughs> or Stormy, or Miss Clifford, but we have a mutual friend, and uh, we had a drink together. You know Michael Cohen, I'm sure. Very okay, well. and you know Michael Cohen, you guys are buddies. Now, <laughs> Michael Cohen, evidently, he, he either dropped or lost his legal team, and they have not named a replacement for who that is going to be. There's rumors that he's going to flip or that he's about to be arrested. Which one do you think is about to happen? Let's, let's start with you. Well, I, I think that both are going to happen. I mean, I predicted a couple months ago that Michael Cohen was going to be indicted, that he was in a whole heap load of trouble, and, and I think that we've seen that play out over the last couple months. There's no question in my mind that he's going to be indicted, and there's no question in my mind that he's going to try to flip on the president. I think that Michael Cohen is in a very, very bad spot, and I think the president is in a very, very bad spot, because this is what happens when you trust your innermost secrets to a moron. Okay. <laughs> well, Mr. Right, Scaramucci, hold yeah. on. Oh, Yes, it was a little uh, less civil than I thought, but that's okay. I get the, the, the chair recognizes uh, Mr. Yeah, Scaramucci. So, so, here's, so here, here's what I would say is that uh, because he's a personal friend and there are children and his wife and a family involved, um, I would say that the pressure and the stress of it is enormous. And I would say that he's likely to be indicted. Um, and typically these cases take, as you know, 10 to 12 weeks. He's in the ninth week mm -hmm. of the situation. And so I think he has to develop a strategy related to his legal team to get the right people pursuant to whatever the indictment is. And I don't think he has that right now, and so that's why the shift is going on. But, but why would you... Okay, you wouldn't so, ever be without a lawyer when you're no, under no, this no. kind of he's pressure. Got a, he's got a whole slate of lawyers that are uh, out there that want to represent him, but I think he doesn't know, to be candid, yeah. what the actual indictment is going to be yet. I think he's been left in the dark on that. So okay. once the charges are actually made... I think he'll back into a strategy in the right legal team. When, when my producer asked you about Michael Cohen, whether he was going to flip, you actually called Michael Cohen on the phone backstage. Yeah, so I, I actually saw him. Did you bring I your actually, phone out with you? Is I, what don't have, no, I don't have my phone. You want to talk to Michael? I do. Could you yeah, could someone no, go get his No, phone? he's in a portion of... Can I talk to Michael? Can I talk to Michael? No, no. If, if Michael Avenatti... <laughs> I knew, I knew this was going to be rough and it was going to be two on one. But if, if oh, Michael, oh, if wait, Michael, wait, 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 no, 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 it's good. 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 Come on. Come on. But now, now you can get hit in stereo. Come on. You sit here. It's like my Bose wireless headphones. You know me. Come on, Mochi. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just ask a question. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Are we going to? Are we going to whine or are we going to talk? No. No. Let's talk. So we get some wine. Can we get some wine? So here's the thing. There's no, there's Three no, glasses of wine right now, no, please. There's no much. lawyer that would allow Michael uh, to talk publicly about his situation, not even Michael Avenatti, and so, meaning if Michael was his client. But, but here's the thing. Um, we have to see how it unfolds, and we have to see what the charges are. Once we know what the charges are, we know what the strategy is. And so when people are saying that Michael's going to flip or not going to flip, I think it's very, very unfair. Um, obviously, Michael Avenatti thinks he's going to flip. I can't say if he's going to flip or not flip, but I think... you don't know or you don't want to speculate? No, uh, because I don't want to speculate. I actually don't know, but here's what I would say. The strategy of isolating Michael and the strategy of Republican donors and Republican Party officials and people that were longtime friends of Mike, Michael Cohen walking from Michael Cohen and leaving him in isolation, I think is a very bad thing. Uh, and so for me, 
uh, I would tell people, if I was his lawyer, uh, let's, let's uh, be a little more engaging with Michael and don't leave him out there in the dark or out in the cold like a John le Carre novel. That would be me. Okay. Let's bring the wine in now. Let's bring okay. the wine in now. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Getting rosé. Yeah. Rosé. 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 Rosé right there. You see, now, now, let's talk last about time I was here, I didn't get any wine. Colder. This okay. could be colder, but, you know, salute. Okay. So right, I'm gonna drink it let, like let's talk about the president of the United States for a second, okay? <laughs> Both of you, now people may not know this, Mr. Scaramucci, but yes, you sir. actually, you're a lawyer yourself. I am. You went to Harvard but Law. I, I don't want to play one on television. I did go to Harvard Law. I go to Harvard Law. Okay. No. So from both of your, let's start with uh, you, Mr. Avenatti. Do you think the president has floated the idea that he could, he could pardon himself? Do you think that the president uh, would do that? Would he pardon himself? Oh, there's no question in my mind that he would pardon himself because this guy is one of the biggest narcissists you've ever seen in your entire life. But we're not. <laughs> This, I mean, it, look, look, this, this guy is the all about... The are not narcissists, just the yeah. president. Go ahead. This, 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 guy ha, this guy has an ego that is unparalleled. He's all about the show. He's all about the pomp and circumstance. We just saw that in Singapore. He travels to Singapore halfway around the world. He spends 24 hours there. He's more interested in the red carpet and the flags and walking, strolling through the garden than actually getting something done. You know, if it was me, I'd have gone over there. I'd still be there because I would have actually got a deal that mattered done as opposed to just posing for a bunch of pictures. Well, who knows I mean, whether we could get anything? Who well, knows whether you get well, Katie Dillon to agree to I, anything? I, I, appreciate, I appreciate what Michael's saying, but it's a little more complicated than that. And there's a series of things that have to happen that are bilateral and multilateral to get that deal done. Uh, but what I do think, what I don't like about what's going on right now, when Barack Obama in 2008 said he was going to talk to him, Republicans railed against Barack Obama. And in 2018, when Donald J. Trump said he was going to go talk to him, the Democrats railed against him. And so what I'm calling for is people should dial it back a little bit. We're all Americans. Let's come up with the right strategy that's going to help us create global peace and global prosperity. And I think, and maybe you do too, maybe you don't, I don't know, but I think it's better that these people are talking with each other. I think it's super important to get that dialogue going. Maybe it doesn't amount to anything. I don't know. My guess is, though, knowing uh, Secretary Pompeo as well as I do, and knowing the president reasonably well, that I think it's going to get done, and I think it will surprise the world on the upside. Do you still talk to the president? Because you, you got kicked out after 11 days, quite famously. Yes. One 11-day one, one yeah. period is now called a Scaramucci. You yeah. did one... Yeah. <laughs> 11 days. It's actually, hey, what do you... It's so It's actually you not still, you It's still, actually not long enough to be called a Scaramucci. It's called a mooch, okay? It was okay, a very short period of time. Uh, we have to take a commercial break here. We'll be right back with Anthony Scaramucci and Michael Avenatti.